This program first checks for drivers being already configured and loaded and ready to go. You can include drivers in the properties file as jdbc.drivers and then you can make method calls that loads them. The call to load driver uses the path name definition to load the driver that you specified on your class path. Then the call to list loaded drivers will include it in its list. The final step is to get a connection object through the driver to the database. This is where the URL comes in. It's used to locate the database. This class has a show connection method that lists all of the characteristics of the connection. The final step is to close the connection. It's sort of the same thing as closing a file. It will close when the program quits running, but it's best to close it yourself. This method lists all of the drivers that are included as part of the property settings. As you can see, a call is made to the getProperty method of the system properties, and if anything is returned, the text is printed. You can see how you could define the name of the database as a property and have it available to every program in your system. This method displays a list of all the database drivers that are loaded into memory and ready to be used. This call returns an enumeration object that contains a list of all of them. Now this method is called once before the program loads the driver and then once again afterwards. This method initializes a memory resident form of the driver. The driver, in this case the path name of the driver class, is loaded into memory by the call to for name. The driver class is expected to have an anonymous class initializer and this initializer code will run here and get the static methods of the class ready to be called. The driver is loaded and ready to go after this. Okay, the driver is up and ready, so the only thing left to do is make the connection. The getConnection method of this object calls the getConnection method of the driver manager, which returns a connection object. This is the connection object that can be used to send queries to the database and get responses back. Once this connection object has been created, the rest of the job of database communication is quite straightforward. All this program does is display some information about the database. A database metadata object contains all kinds of information about the database. Just about anything that can vary from one database to another can be found in here. This method displays some of the more basic information, such as the name and version number of the database, and the name and version number of the driver. Okay. Now that's the hard part. The most difficult thing you will do is set things up to get connected to a database. Once that's done, it's a matter of using that connection to send queries to the database and get results back. This program was written to display things that can be used to figure out what the configuration settings should be. In the next lesson, I will show you a stripped-down version of this class that can be used for writing useful JDBC programs.